Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show. In today's episode, we will be talking about the Colts tight ends and how the to- uh, and how the Colts tight ends room is looking after the draft. You know, this Colts tight end group, you know, is, is is looking really good. You know, they definitely have some versatility and some big guys and some you know and other guys that can run faster. And you know, so let's get right into it. So tight end three, you know, who's going to be that tight end three? You know, it's probably going to be Jack Doyle. Um, you know, as as much as we love Jack Doyle, as as much as we as much as we love him as a Colt, you know, Jack Doyle is a jack of all trades. He can do everything. You know, he's a very solid player. But you know, the two guys that the the other two guys in this roster are younger, and they have you know a little more potential. You know, as much as I hate to say it, you know, because Jack Doyle is an underrated player, but you know, he he gets the job done at everything. He can run block. You know, he's a very solid pass catcher. He comes up big in big games as we see in Buffalo he had a pretty big game probably his best game of the season in Buffalo um you know just a very solid a very solid tight end you know he could block like I said he, he's a solid route runner but you know he's not insanely great at anything but he's ex- really good at, really good at everything if that makes sense but um you know and then you have your, your young guy Molly Cox you know the big guy out of VCU you know he's that big guy, big con- big contested catch guy, big jump ball guy. Um, doesn't have blazing speed, but you know, guy that size isn't really gonna have blazing speed. But he's still pretty fast, you know, and, and, and he's pretty big. And you know, he can make those big catches. Um, you know, his hands are huge. He's a former basketball player for VCU. Um, his hands are huge. Um, his wingspan is pretty big. He's just a big dude in general that can really go up and make those big contested catches, which you love to see. Um, I'm just really excited to see what he has in store for the Colts next year. You know, he's been on this Colts roster for, for you know, a few years now. And, and, you know, he's really been showing improvements every year, you know. When he first was on the team, he really started with catching a bit. But, you know, he's really improved that quite a bit. And, you know, I'm excited to see him in, in, in back in black and blue. Back in white and blue. And blue and white next season. And to see what he could do with those massive hands, you know, and how he's become. You know, he's... He's actually become a lot better route runner as well, um, so you know I'm I'm excited to see that, you know, and the, and then you have your guy in Kylan Grancy, you know I don't think he's gonna be tight end one, you know he, he I I don't know to to be honest with you, I don't think there's gonna be a tight end one, a tight end two, and tight end three, to be quite honest with you. I think all three of these tight ends can make an impact, and all three are the best in their own ways. You know I don't think there is a best tight end tight end on this team. They're all guys that could come in and, and, and attribute and contribute to a really talented team and that can make this team better, you know, whether that is stretching the field, whether that is, you know, the run after a catch, um, a smaller guy that can go out into space, you know, make a play after the catch, whether it's a big guy who can, you know, run block, who could, you know, has massive hands to go up and make a big catch, or if it's a guy that can do everything, who's a jack of all trades and Jack Doyle. Um, you know, you could probably take what you want from that and who I was talking about in kind of order there, you know, but, you know, some really good players that we have at this tight end position. I'm excited to see what what we have at this tight end position. I think we're going to make, you know, I think we're really going to make, you know, big strides with the tight end this season, you know, even though they've been, they've been really solid, um, you know, do we still go out and get Zach Ertz possibly, you know, I think that's still a possibility right now because, you know, it, it I mean, if Ertz is released by the Eagles, then yes. But if we have to trade for him, I don't see us giving up any, any draft capital whatsoever. So if we have to trade for him, no. If we could sign him, yes. You know, and then maybe you cut a guy like Doyle. You know, as much as you love him, you know, a guy like Zach Ertz, you, you know, you, you can't be scared to get better. You know, you, you just can't. You you, ha- you have to be ready to go out there and, you know, get better. That's the, that, that's the NFL. You have to go out there and get better. You can't be scared. Um, can't be scared of the game. But, yeah, I, I really like this tight end group. They're very versatile. They're very... Very dynamic, you know. You know, like I said, Kylan Grantson is very dynamic. He play in the slot. You know, he can play back at running back a little bit. He could play out wide. You know, and some people were talking about his his actually um catching issues, but you know, a, a, ever since that big game at Vanderbilt, well, he where he really did have some bad drops. You know, he he came back after that, and he hasn't really had many drops at all. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what he has in store. He's kind of like a more athletic, much better version of Trey Burton, who is much more much more upside so yeah let me know you guys think do you guys think this high group is set do you think you know we can make many any more additions i don't really think so um you know i think tight end is, is actually really set right now so 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You know, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Um, and then make sure, most importantly of all, make sure to drop a sub and turn on that notification bell to get more videos. Um, I'm, I'm going to be having a crap ton of videos coming out. I'm really getting on that grind, really getting on the work to really, you know, get up there. I want to get more content and get a big community for you guys to, to like, interact with each other. You know, I'm just really excited to see where this channel is going. This channel is going in a really good, in really good direction. So, and it's all because of you guys, all because of you guys. And I really thank you guys for, for that. And that's it for this video. And as always, I'll catch you later.